the sleeves. I always say that during 11 months of the year. Oh, you're shopping at the Dollar Tree too? You try, you're trying to be like me? You're trying to be like Mike? You're trying to be like Mike? I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. Okay, we're here. home to the motherland. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's a nose? Santa doesn't wear a nose though. I don't know how I feel about that. And this is where I found my deer picture frame, or my deer picture plaque hanging in the jiggy. That's a great explanation. I love this Dollar Tree. I mean, look at this. Okay, look how cute this is. The night before Christmas, and then this one says, dashing through the snow. I mean, that's adorable. How cute that bag is. Oh, look at the candy canes. Okay, this store has got it going on. Very cool. Ooh, these are cool. I did this one here in my daughter's bathroom and put these up where the curtain hooks are. And so when she moved the curtain back and forth, they would jingle. So you get nine in here. I'm not sure how many hooks come in a bathroom, but that's a really great deal. Oh my gosh, look at these. I did a video on my channel once with this, and what I did was I took some magnets that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I hot glue them to the back, and they go on my fridge. I will show you guys that in the next video. These are really cool. This is it. Usually the first place I want to go is the sticker aisle. One thing that I do here at the Dollar Tree is I will always ask myself if I found this at Walmart, would I pay a dollar for it there? So usually there's a lot of times I say no I wouldn't. So that's how you don't get suckered into getting everything at the Dollar Tree. This is interesting. It's yogurt to go. And I think that you can add your toppings here. This is an ice pack and your yogurt goes in here. That is really cool. I don't know that I need one of these, but that is really cool. And now that I no longer need these coffee cups, now they're in stock. Typical. I am in the mood for something just not healthy for me. Like Wendy's. Taco Bell. Sounds delish. Dickie's barbecue sounds good too. It does. It sounds delicious. Do any of you talk like that when you're in the car by yourself? Do you just talk to yourself? Here's Wendy's. Because I do. I do. I talk to myself. And I'm fine with it. See? I'm driving by these cars and they're probably going, who's that lady talking to? There's no earpiece in. Like, there's nothing going on. Who is she talking to? My damn self. That's what I'm talking to. <clears throat> I'm feeling extra chatty today. So if this is a long video, buckle up. If you love these videos, I know you'll stay tuned. If long videos are not for you, this is not the right channel. A lot of my subscribers love my long videos. They love when I talk and give descriptions. I have seen a couple of people comment. They're like, just show the item and get it over with. I don't do that here on my channel, so it's probably not for you, but I'm feeling extra chatty, so let's do it. I'm in front of my tree. I figured this would be a really fun place to do my Dollar Tree haul for you guys. You're probably wondering, well, does that mean there's not gonna be a decorate my your tree video? 
And no, there's not going to be one. And the reason for that is when I started to set up, my daughter had asked if I would not put it on YouTube so that she could decorate with me um, without a camera. And I said absolutely, and I gave that to her. So I'm really sorry about that, but I will take you on a tour through my tree and how I decorated my house in an upcoming video. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. And I am kind of planning to decorate our third bedroom that we don't use with the Candyland items that my daughter had in her room last year. So if you watch my channel, then you know that this year she wanted to do the peppermint theme, which is like red and white. And last year she had Candyland, which was like a bunch of pastel colors. Well, when I was decorating my house, I thought, what well, can I do with this stuff? And I was just about to put it away when I realized I have a spare room her TV room. So I'm going to decorate that room. And if you guys want to hang out with me, I'll do that video for you. If it's not your thing, that's fine. I'll post it. Whoever wants to watch it can watch it. I know for me, I love watching YouTube videos all the time when I'm doing my morning routine, when I'm doing my nighttime routine, when I'm cooking, cleaning. I don't know. It always feels like I'm hanging out with a friend, especially Thrifty P31. I don't know that you know this because I've never told you, but I watch you every time I cook dinner. So that's just how I am. So I hope that my videos kind of do the same thing for you guys because I know I love it. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and share with you this Dollar Tree haul. It's between two different stores, two different days and recently. And I wanna go ahead and get it out of the way because a bunch of these items I have hauled to do an advent calendar for you guys and it's November 30th. And I wanna get that video done today so that you can start making your advent calendars for yourself if it's something you want to do. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look in this bag. I do have three bags total and I do have a couple repeat items. So one of the things that I have been forgetting every time I go are sponges. I rotate my sponges every two weeks. So this last sponge I have been on for about a month. So I have definitely felt gross using it and I needed some more sponges. What I noticed was new about this set is I'm getting three in a pack now for a dollar versus the other ones I have hauled, same brand, I was getting two. So as you can tell, it says that you get a bonus sponge. So I probably should have picked up a couple more of these because you never know how long these bonus items will last, but I thought this was a great deal. Another repeat item is this, these disinfectant wipes. My daughter loves these, I love these. My daughter keeps one in her room and she cleans like the top of her makeup uh, desk and it does not stain anything white, doesn't turn anything to yellow. I use these, I have these under my kitchen sink, my bathroom sink, and I love these especially to clean the faucets. Have you ever, gone to clean your house, your kitchen, you spray your faucet, and it's so hard to get your towel or sponge or whatever in the grooves. These are like perfect for that. I got myself some stocking stuffers mm -hmm, for myself or else there'd be nothing in it. And I bought me some stickers. You guys, if you see my videos, you know what I got these for. So I got three from Frozen and three from the Princess, Disney Princesses. The only thing that bothers me about these is each of them are a dollar. I really wish it'd be like two for a dollar. I know some people have commented and said there are items in your Dollar Tree that are less than a dollar, not at mine. Every single item is one single dollar, so. But I got these for my stocking, and yes, I act surprised when I open it. I saw the Dollar Tree restocked up on these brushes. My daughter and I love these. They're favorites, I've hauled two of them. The first one I still have and I've been using from my very first time a couple months ago. The second one my daughter lost, so I'm replacing it and I got this peach colored one, so I've never picked up this particular color. Okay, the next item is something new. It's this little mini dust pan. Yeah, dust pan and brush. And what I picked this up for is my fireplace. So this would be a really great item to scoop up the ashes and dump them into my trash can and then use the brush to kind of clean up and you know move additional ashes in like the corners so that I can scoop them up. So I love this for that purpose. Then I picked up some more lunch bags. My daughter takes these to lunch and I'm gonna be using these for my advent calendar. So I picked up some more. Okay, here's my next item. I also picked these up for my advent calendar. 
There are eight counts of these decorative, decorative bows, and I love that you get this little bell in the center. I think it's so pretty. I'm not a fan of velvet. It's just not a pattern for me. It's kind of like how people feel about chalkboard and ugh. Let's put this away. Okay, here is my second bag. And usually I don't do this, but I picked up some paper towels. I don't know why, but it's extremely difficult for me to buy paper towels. I have kitchen towels and I'll use those, but they get wet and gross so fast. And I was like, you know what? Just pick up this paper towel and be done with it. So I just got one. Also picked up some tissue. This is not my decor, as you can see. I'm like cabin, rustic, woodlands, and blue snowflakes, white snowflakes are not a part of my decor, but I love this for my daughter. And I have to remember that she doesn't like my style. So usually she picks out like her own wrapping and stuff, but we haven't done that yet. But I thought this was a really cool like tissue pattern. You get 10 sheets in here for a dollar. Mm, I guess that's okay. I also picked up some gift boxes. You get three small gift boxes in here. I've noticed at Walmart, they just are having all kinds of variety. And so I just kind of wanted some regular small, oh, shirt boxes, not a small box. Cause I'm like, this really isn't that small. But anyways, I got three of these. I picked up some more self adhesive gift tags. This was the one that appealed to me most, and you get another sheet behind here, and there's a hundred count. This would be great for gifts. This is also great for pocket letters. I'm gonna be doing another pocket letter, except the last one was a review of one I put together, and my next one's gonna be a tutorial. The reason why I did a review in the first one was because I didn't have enough time to share the tutorial with you. So my next one is going to be a full-blown pocket letter tutorial, and I may be using these for that. The next gift boxes are decorative and you get two in here, but let me show you. Mm -hmm. Didn't know that Dollar Tree made an entire line of Christmas items with this print. If you watch my video, you know how much I love this. I had promised that if I found the sign that I hauled with this, that I would pick up a couple and send them out as gifts to my subscribers. Have never found them since. And my three Dollar Trees, gone what long gone so but i found these gift boxes you just get this one and then the santa and i thought that was really cute now i don't know if you're like me even though i get boxes like this i still wrap them i also picked up some of these jolly rancher crunch and chews my daughter loves these i figured this would be great to put in her stocking stuffer uh, i have a second package of the jolly rancher crunch and chews one is going to be for her stocking and the other one is going to be for the advent calendar I also picked up some of these soft gloves. I have seen these before, never picked them up, and I thought this would be perfect for the advent calendar. They are extremely soft. I wish that you guys could feel this. I mean, just put your face up to the computer because, oh my God, it's like butter. Anyone ever seen Tu Wong Fu? Thanks for everything. The seats are like butter. I love drag queens. Okay, anyway, so I digress. I got these for the advent calendar. Then I saw these. These are decorative ornaments. I've never seen these before. You get four in each, and these were the only two styles that I saw, but I didn't keep digging. I was kind of in a hurry just because I was on a time limit, and I thought these were so cute. I am going to use these for my advent calendar. So you get like a poinsettia and a reindeer, tree and Santa, and then look how cute this little reindeer is with his scarf. I mean, his his neck looks like it's broken, but that's okay. Then I picked up this gift bag. It kind of goes with the tissue paper that I picked up for my daughter. It says dashing through the snow. It's in blue colors with snowflakes. And then you get a second one with little cute mittens on it. And I love the handles are two different shades of blue. Here's a new item alert. I've personally never seen this, so I picked up every single one that they had, and it's these lip balms. And they're in fruity flavors, and, sh and the container is shaped as the flavor. So you get a lemon lip balm, you get a strawberry lip balm, and then you get an apple lip balm, which I thought was really cool. So if it tastes good, like on your lips, and if it actually works, this is a pretty, this could end up being a really great item. 
Also really great for stocking stuffers. So the next thing I got are just a bunch of little candies for stockings, advent calendar, and who are we kidding? I'm really just going to eat it before any of that gets done. But these are some chewy fruities. I have loved this brand before. It's by Coastal Bay. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this at your Dollar Tree, but I'm obsessed with these. I love these. I also picked up some of my favorite gummies, which are these Cherry Chews and the Coca-Cola Bears, which I've already opened. Picked up some of the regular ones. My daughter really likes these. And then these caught my eye. They're the Red Birds, but what I liked about it is that it's soft peppermint puffs. So I love the kind of peppermints, like the ones from Chick-fil-A where they're soft and they just kind of melt in your mouth. So I'm kind of hoping this is the same thing. And last, but never least, our stickers. So I can't begin to tell you how great the selection has been at Dollar Tree lately with the stickers. There was, there was a little lull there around July, August, September where there's like nothing and now there's just so much, so I'm super excited. I picked up this one. It was in the Christmas section, obviously, and I picked this up for the advent calendar to decorate the bags with. One more item before I continue with my stickers, I found these self-laminating sheets. I only picked up one. I always do this when I try something new. I only pick up one item, test it out. If I like it, I go back and I get more. So I thought this was amazing. This would be great for my planner, my happy planner, which I've been doing videos on. Uh, there's a playlist down below if you wanna go check it out. And I figured this would also be great for pocket letters. So apparently there are instructions on how to do it yourself. You do not need the machine or anything. And it's up to four by six, four inch by six inch photos, business cards, recipe cards, all that kind of stuff. Okay, now back to my sticker collection. I can't even handle it. For starters, here's a repeat, which is this coffee one. I hauled this before and I talked about how this was my favorite sticker from Dollar Tree ever. It still is. I don't know why, but I'm absolutely in love with this. So I can't wait to do a pocket letter using these stickers. Next are all new stickers that I've never seen before. And these are just absolutely adorable. I love anything with fruits. And it says that these are labels and you get 24 counts. So I guess you could write in them. So these would be really great for your planner. You could write little grocery items that you need, or you could use them for decorative stickers, whatever you want to do. I think this is absolutely adorable. The next one is something new. It's the same line as this one from the Dollar Tree. I think this is gorgeous. I mean, look at this lamp and the, there's a cat on the chair. There's a cat on the chair. So cute. The clock, I mean, and all the little embellishments between the glitter and the little rhinestones. I absolutely love this. This one was just adorable. I mean, it's a little bit past fall, but this is something to add to your sticker collection if you do like sticker collections. It is so cute. I love the colors. I love the detail. I love the trees. Just so cute. And then this one blew me away. And let me tell you, there was a lot more. I wish I could pick up all those stickers for you guys, but it just didn't feel right spending like $20 on stickers. It just didn't. So look at these little woodland creatures. I love everything except the snake. I'm not a snake person, but even he's adorable. And the raccoon kills me. I mean, he, he looks like he's into some trouble. Did you know that raccoons clean their food before they eat it? I think it's raccoons. I'm not sure if that's right. So that's my haul. I tried to do it really as quickly as I could, but I have a surprise. So I just so happened to pick up doubles of all the stickers that I just showed you because I'm giving these away to one of you. Mm -hmm, that's right. So how I've decided to do this is I'm gonna go back to my last video. I'm gonna put all of the names of the people who commented in that video, put all of those names into a hat, and I'm gonna draw from one of them. Of course, it has to be a nice comment, so if it's not the nicest comment, it's not gonna go in the hat, but I don't think there's any mean comments in my last video, so that doesn't really matter, but that is how I'm going to pick a winner. If you commented on my last video, 
I will be sending these stickers to you. So, yay! You know how people have visions of like throwing money up in the air and they're like, yes, money, I hit the lottery, or like rolling around in it in, in your bed? I have visions of that with stickers. I got problems. I got deep rooted problems. Anyway, so that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really sorry that I couldn't take you through decorating the tree process with me, but when my daughter asked, I said yes. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna get to my advent calendar and I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this week. Bye.